there's a lot of types of osu content out there but i think one of the most fun types of osu content to watch is those parodies of anime scenes where they replace the subtitles with like osu related stuff and make a little like osu anime scene out of it and in the osu monthly news post from last month they shared this youtube channel that not only makes like a storyline with the subtitles but actually has its own little animation where they draw characters and it's actually like an animation of the scene the audio is still taken from an anime but it's basically mini osu anime episodes that i think are actually really really cool and i want to show you guys this one in particular that's kind of like the day in the life of a tournament player sort of thing i'll have a link to this episode in the description as well as the channel that makes these if you guys want to check them out i really really highly recommend checking out the channel yourself and supporting them because this type of content is actually really rare in the osu community and it's always nice to see someone making stuff like this so as someone who has been pretty deep in the tournament scene for many many years i'll be giving some of my own like commentary or anecdotes to some of the references in this episode obviously spoiler warning from here on out if you guys want to check out the episode for yourself without my spoilers then check out the video linked in the description <laughs> and i also really appreciate the little like references to actions in the osu client like here it's really hard to read but it says invite to game and it's the same color as the actual invite to game button that's in the osu client but little things like that that pop up when the characters interact with each other is something that i think is really really cool so the story here so far obviously is that Pippi is a tournament player and default is kind of her friend that wants to learn from her or is kind of looking up to her and even in the scene and a lot of the other scenes you have like little easter eggs like you see the brain power skull in the background which I actually didn't even notice the first time I watched this okay here's another little easter egg that showed up for like five frames but is like just Again, one of those really nice touches, I would say, when default was getting Pippi's attention, the little like, you got a message from this person notification thing popped up for like, it's such a small amount of time, but like the amount of effort that goes into like doing a little stuff like that is like, stuff that makes it a lot more lively, I would say. <laughs> <laughs> okay this is probably my favorite frame in the video there's just so much to unpack here <laughs> it's like a little shopping area with like mods being the names of the stores the sign in front of the hidden stores is really hard to read but i think it says playing with fading notes and no approach circles for a slight score advantage but then what's actually happening in the scene is like in this little alleyway, the command that's used in tournaments to turn on hard rock, which is exclamation MP mods HRNF, because no fail is always used in tournaments. And it's showing Pippi being like afraid of the command showing up in the alley. Like, I don't know if I'm like nerding out over these like Osu tournament references too much, but like I think this is like something that more people need to make Osu content like this. Like it's so awesome. <laughs> And here we have more little easter eggs that I actually also didn't notice the first time I watched this. You have like the Osu World Cup banner in the background and then this looks like a Yomi Yori FC score post if I had to guess on Osu game and then like circles like 1-2 I guess or, or 12. Just so much stuff that I just think is really cool. なんだいきなり。せっかく友達が殺し合いやってんだもん。ご真実の一つくらい覚えておこうかと思って。でも本気のやっちゃうのはダメ。あとすごく簡単なやつ。簡単なやつか。じゃあ、これで相手の眼球
default is like, no, no performance points. <laughs> and then here Pippi talks about like, this is for when your opponent forgets to ban double time too, which typically is like a very like fast tapping intensive like speed DT map, which I feel like out of all the types of maps in tournaments, tapping speed is typically the one that's most polarizing. Like there's a lot of really strong tournament players that can't actually play like really high skill cap tapping speed that well. And it's really one of those like you can either play it very comfortably and you get like almost an FC or FC the map, or you can like barely even get like a C rank or a B rank. So it's one of those very abusable, like oftentimes going into a match, there's going to be a player that's like on paper a lot better at speed. And so it's not uncommon that a map like DT2 gets banned. But here Pippi is basically like, if you learn speed, then you can speed abuse people if they forget to ban the speed maps, which again is another one of those things that I think is just so accurate. Okay, I don't completely understand this line. People who can do that don't need to play tournaments. I think what that means, it's either like if you're really good at speed, because speed is like so meta right now in solo that like if you're really good at speed, then you can just like, I don't know, farm PP, I guess. There's another side to this that I think isn't really intended in this line, which is like speed players out of all the other types of players, I feel like tend to be the ones that I don't want to say dislike tournaments the most, but like don't really play tournaments that much. I guess because it, it just kind of appeals to a completely different type of player. Especially speed is one of those skills where it's really all about like pushing your mechanics and like playing stuff that's like really, really crazy, cracked, difficult. And then tournaments are like, you know, playing like six stars and five stars and trying to get like FCs, 99% consistency and fundamentals. And I feel like there's just like this divide between quote unquote tournament players and speed players and how it's like almost two completely separate sides of the game that appeal to different types of players. So here we have more Easter eggs, Freedom Dive thumbnail from Circle People and Spaz's avatar. Pippi is holding a match invite. You can see the, the username says referee. I can't tell what the lobby name is called. And Pippi is complaining as many tournament players do. Why do I have to play two matches in one day? This is so like after spending enough time with tournament players, like you start to pick up on like the typical complaints that people have, like scheduling hell and like all that sort of stuff. But I don't know if this is intentional or not, but the little like clipboard thing on the right kind of looks like uh, Among Us. <laughs> I don't know if that's intentional or not. I kind of just noticed that. But I really, really like when there's like all these little Easter eggs in the backgrounds of, of videos like these. <laughs> Okay, this is another one of those things like, okay, I feel like there's different quote unquote types of tournament players. There's like, you know, kind of all rounder players that can kind of play everything. And there's like more generic skill set people that are like really good at like aim jumps, maybe a little bit of tech or alt and like no mod hard rock. And as I mentioned, there's like kind of speed specialists that are really good at DT. And then there's like hidden reading specialists that are actually relatively common. It's definitely a like tournament player trope if I can call it that or like sometimes there's just this really really specialized reading map that like some players that you wouldn't expect to like be super crazy on most other maps are actually really really good at that one map but again I think like the, the writing obviously is kind of based on the original anime scene that the audio is from but I feel like this person actually did a really good job like kind of capturing the vibe so far of like the life of a tournament player basically Again, it's the little things here. I just really appreciate the like exit where it's like the actual button that you use to close the client. Also somehow like the art style or like animation style is actually like very, it has a lot of the principles that a typical anime would have. I feel like as far as like the way that the scenery moves and the characters move and, and all that sort of stuff. <laughs> Okay, I feel like that exchange was just like the perfect representation of when you're in the thick of it as a tournament player, feeling like you underperformed in the match, and then like people saying that you complained too much about the map pool in the map pool feedback channel, and then immediately you're like, I have a match at 7 a.m. tomorrow. It's just particularly American players tend to have like really early morning matches because if you have players from America, Europe, Asia, and Australia, then the times typically line up so that like the American player plays in the really early morning and then like Asia plays almost at like midnight and then Australia plays at like 1 or 2 a.m. And so when you're in scheduling hell, you typically end up with at least one or two matches that are just like unreasonably early in the morning or at least American players do and, and maybe some like Australian or Asian players. But yeah, this is this is the life. <laughs> this is the life when you play tournaments. 
Okay, yep. <laughs> I should quit tournaments. Oh my god, this video is actually so good. Oh, okay, again, I really, really recommend you guys check out this episode and like all the other episodes. This is not the only anime episode, and I'm sure there will be more that come out after I upload this video. But yeah, I love seeing like Osu anime, like parodies of anime scenes, like with this sort of style. So seeing this type of content again in the Osu community, like it, it just warms my heart. It's just, it's just so beautiful. And I just had to share it with all of you guys. But yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching.